dealing with injuries longer last year and you know, had spring, you have off season now. How much fun are you really having being back out there fully healthy? It feels so good to be back with my team and to be practicing every day. It's to be able to bring my energy and help my team just get better every day. And it helps me get better because, you know, I get to be around my guys. Chris, did you feel 100% at the start of, of practice? Did you feel like you had some rust you had to knock off? I've been feeling 100% from the start. I've just been taking the rehab like a pro, and it's been helping me in the long run. So, you know, every day I've been feeling 100, and I feel good to go. How does it feel being fully healthy again? It's my dream, you know, to play football, so it feels it's a blessing to uh, be able to still play football and still be around my guys, and I feel so healthy, and I feel 100%. Did you have a moment this preseason where you're kind of like, okay, I'm back, like, this is all fine now? I feel like once the pads got on and everything, we started getting into the hitting and stuff like that, that's when I knew that I was ready to go fully, because once I started really striking and I knew that I felt good, it was over from there. I felt, felt good to go. You mentioned taking the rehab a little bit more serious this time. Is there something you're doing a little bit different, like between like previous injuries, like that you're doing more serious now? Um, just just putting more time into it, like just going harder. Like I found out that I need to go harder in the rehab part, so I just went harder in that, and just been taking it like a pro, drinking a lot of water, you know, putting a lot of stuff in my body that is good for me, and that really helped me a lot. What do you think Dan and Taj have helped grow your game the most since coming in here? I feel like Dan and Taj really brought that hard nose blitzing defense, really hard nose defense, and they just always have that energy. And that's what I love about you know Dan and Taj. They always have energy. I love to bring energy, so it just it goes together good. I know you're supposed to take this uh, one day at a time, but how much do you think about that season opener every day? I just I try to stay where my feet are. Because, you know, it's just going to come. It's got to be ready for it. You dropped quite a bit of weight from where you were at last year. How has that felt out there? Does, does it feel, do you feel as explosive kind of as you were? It makes me feel like I still have the ability to, you know, to strike someone, but I feel like I'm faster. Like I'll get there quicker. So if the toss is going that way, I feel like I'm getting there way faster. When, when did that process begin? When, when did you guys decide you were, you were going to drop a little bit to kind of fill that position? Um, after last year, when I, um, I had to get some work on my foot. I just realized that having a lower weight was really going to benefit me in the long run. So that was that was sort of a product of the injury, losing the weight. Just, just staying low, so I can be sideline to sideline and just just be, be myself and not have to worry about being too heavy. Justin, what's the origins of this Heem character you've got? Heem. Okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all, Heem is like a mentality. So when I say, "Oh, I'm Heem," it's mean I'm him. Like I'm the one that's gonna that's gonna come and I, I'm really him. So being him is a, is a mentality. It's not really a person. It's really a, a mentality you gotta have every day. When you walk into the field, you walk into your house, you walk into you know anywhere you go in life. You gotta be him, you gotta be him. It's all mentality. When did that thought process start for you? Just, you know, um, being around my little brother, Jonathan Flo and everything and just, we always wanted to have a mentality by ourselves when we go do stuff and just everything we do. Cause here, Everything you do is how you do everything. So that's how me and my brother, him was the biggest thing for us because we want to always bring that mentality that we're going to be him and we're going to bring that energy. Other than your brother, is there someone specifically that you feel like really embraces that mentality on this team? No soul. No soul. No soul always brings it, always has energy, always brings passion. And no soul is just a, he's a guy, you know? And just. We always feed off each other. Alex Bales was saying you were asking him quite a bit about the playoff and what that experience was like. Why are you thinking in those terms? I'm not, I'm not saying like not because you couldn't go to the playoff, Justin, but because why were you seeking out him to ask about that so early on? Mm, he said that again, boss. You were talking to Alex Bales about his experience at the playoff at Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to ask him that so early? Like why did you want? Why did you seek him out to get that? What What is it about? You want, you want to hear people's experiences with that? Uh, you know, just me and Alex are uh, really cool cool teammates, cool friends and everything. So I was just really wondering how that experience was and everything. And, you know, he told me it was amazing. So we're looking to do the same thing. You have the, uh, the NFL tattoo on your hand. When did you get that? What's kind of the story behind that? I got this right before fall camp because – This I, year? Yes, sir. I really want to just – to have it as motivation because after having all those big season injuries, it's so easy to stop 
and to, to not keep going. So I just got it to make me realize that this is the mission and I got to keep going. You got 10 more days until kickoff. So what are you looking for in these next 10 days that's really going to give you the confidence to go to Atlanta and really be ready to perform? Um, really just not missing a day and just taking every day as the game's going to be tomorrow. So just going hard every day and just not missing nothing because if you miss a day, that can, really, that can really bring you down for the game day. So always going hard every day. And that mentality for fall Last camp, question. how do you feel like you've improved so far? I feel like I proved tremendously, you know, just with my mindset and just with preparation and just the way I'm just going about my days and everything. I feel good and I feel good ready for this game. And my team, we look good and, uh, you know, we're going to keep going.